Hmm, okay. Need one more memory to leave the gym. Oh, we can talk to the teacher. Oh, there's Johnny and Nicholas doing push-ups. Ah. Uh, fine, you win. Oh yeah. Competitive. Oh, it's nice seeing bits of Johnny's childhood and how he remembers school. It looks like we could go into the lunchroom now. This looks very different from the cafeteria when I was a kid. Yeah, she's unique, but she's uniquely boring. I mean, just look at her! Oh, they're talking about River. She just sits there by herself all day with that creepy deformed duck toy. That's not a deformed duck, that's a platypus! What the heck's a platypus? Quit making words up! Anyway, she's just so... off, you know? It's just like she's from a totally different planet or something. I know! Isn't that cool? Uh, if you're into aliens and that sort of stuff, I guess. But really, if you want to be weird, why don't you just go hang with the emos and goths? Well, for one, I don't want to ruin my hair. The fact that we got a name for them says a lot too. Look, Nick. I just... I just don't want to be another typical kid in a sea of typical people. But how the heck would being with her change your own identity? I mean, you'd just be some guy who hangs out with a shy girl. She's not just shy, Nick. There's something strange about her. Being strange isn't always a good thing, you know? Do you even know if she wants to be different? Maybe she just wants to fit in like everyone else. And if she does, pushing her the other way wouldn't help, would it? Look, Nick, the point is that I know what I need. And she's the one who has it. So you want her for what she has, but not for her? That's cold, man. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. I think you're wrong, though. People aren't that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. That's just what grandmas tell you. Wait, so this guy is some kind of human hogging hipster? That's sort of, uh, disturbing. You know, sometimes I want to slap our clients upside the head. It's high school. Everyone's a bastard. But hey, welcome to the club. Wait, so this is what he told her about at the cliff? Yeah, this scene. I was just thinking about that. I suppose so. She then went cuckoo and began to make these those creepy rabbits, right? Because he confessed this from who knows how long ago? I guess she's pretty good at holding a grudge. I'm not buying it. Something feels missing. Then go get a hat, Sherlock. Come on, I think our passport's leaning against the table there. Oh, so Johnny's original reason for wanting to get to know River wasn't really in her best interest. It wasn't really about her. It was because she was different or, you know, not typical. But Nicholas brought some good points to, about, to Johnny. Oh, poor River. 
reasons and intents inside, it's pretty remarkable that they actually met in high school. How many of those go on for more than a month nowadays, huh? I don't know about you, but mine went pretty swimmingly. Yeah? So swimmingly, it swam right out the window. Sounds about right. Yeah, it's sweet that they're high school sweethearts, but... Johnny was still a little immature at the time. But I guess he developed, like, true feelings for a river after they hung out a bit. And that's why they got married. I'm envious that this kid was still there to help him move pianos when th their hair grew white. I wish I was still in contact with my childhood friends. Yeah, it's good that they still kept in touch, although it might be easier if they were from a small town. Okay, the memento is Johnny's backpack. One more memory. I think River's platypus again. I just love how every time we see this thing, were guaranteed a free memory link. It must have left as big of a scar on his mind as it did on mine. On his mind as it did on mine. Oh yeah, free, free memory. I guess we're ready to go now. But I guess after getting married, Johnny felt the need to come clean with River about why he first started talking to her. Should I even... No need. I'm all good now. Okay, no more Hadoukens. But after he told her the truth, it seems like she became... a little unhinged. Kame... Oh, for walnut's sake. Kame... Hey! Not cool, Eva. You never bleep block someone in the middle of a Kamehameha. What? Waz is just trying to have fun. Okay, Johnny's backpack. I feel like I did something wrong already. Oh, no, we got this. We got this. Okay. But I agree with Eve. I don't know why telling her the truth suddenly made her act so strangely. But it's true. All kids in high school, they're not really mature yet. They don't know how to act, how to be, you know, proper. I'm going to school now, Ma. Have a nice day, Joey. My baby boy growing up so fast. What if he was a girl? Would she still nickname him after his grandpa? It wouldn't be that bad, actually, since it ends in A. Joe E. Ju. We. Jewel E. Sounds cute. If it sounds so cute, why don't you marry him? Ah, jealous. Oh, yes, yeah, so jealous. Ah, uh, Joey can be a girl's name. I think I know a few Joeys. Ooh, this is Johnny's room. Got a little soccer ball here. Oh, that's the memento. I guess Johnny was really into soccer when he was young. Oh, bleh, not again. 
A glass bottle of pickled cucumbers. These aren't olives. Holy crap, my mind's totally blown. You're pretty easily impressed. Actually, I'm pretty impressed too. Was there a note? No, there was- oh, no, no there wasn't. Yeah, it was pickled- it, Johnny likes pickled olives, but that was pickled cucumbers. I guess his mom really liked pickling things, and then Johnny developed a taste for olives. Anything over here? Nope. That looks like a chest? No, no, that I thought that was like a door to the cellar, but no, it's a closet of some sort. We can't leave. Oh, there's a clock, and it's ticking. Well, to be fair, a ticking clock is pretty annoying indeed. Oh, did we miss anything in here? Nope. Nothing. Oh, something over here. The couch? Okay, one last one. What are we missing? It, I think it should be here. Oh, the bookcase. Various books with smudge titles. No Animorphs yet. I wonder why this memory is so important. It's just Johnny going to school. Also, I'm still confused about going to the moon. I have no idea how it connects everything. Given that we're pretty close to the end, I think we're about to find out soon. Okay, a soccer ball. I did it completely the other way. I should have been diagonal first. My bad. There we go. Guess Johnny really likes soccer. Ah, it smells like roadkill again. Where are we? Eva? What the hell is that? Uh, why are there floating houses? That's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going Laputa on us? I don't know, it's just not linking the memories together for construction. There must be a malfunction with the machine's ADG. Again? I thought that last fix was foolproof for another half a year. Half a year. I can't believe those idiots in, ma in the maintenance department. Look, don't worry, we've already gotten the teenage years saved. We might still be able to do this. Alright, but I ain't telling him about this. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. Well, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do here. 
Ready to finalize before activation? Ladies first. What a shame. I was actually looking forward to it. Act 2. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Oh my god, we're back. We're out of the machine and out of the memories. Don't disturb them. They might not wake me easily. But they need the concentration. All this old fool knows. Huh. Sorry, I couldn't can't be more help. Then that'll have to be enough. I all that's left to do is linking your registered desire to go to the moon to your early memories. Then we'll pull the switch and voila, you'll be on the moon in no time. I have a question. If you can make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. Then, can you s not simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? That would work if this were your one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this then? What am I? This is just a copy, a canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you're merely an algorithm traced from Johnny. Enough to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. All we can do is to prepare this canvas in a lo logically consistent way. And then, when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will, re will generate your new life, one where the desire dictates your behavior. The result of that would then be written to the real John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. I mean, we could reset you over and over again, and that's enough. Oh, don't be so sensitive, he's not real, you know. If you truly believe that, why did you even care to explain? I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Doctor? Is that what I truly am? If it was just a programmed memory, don't know if you should make it self-aware. Ah, all our nights work. Whoa. These are all the mementos that we gathered from all his different ages. Oh, but we didn't get when he was truly young. Wait, what happened to... What the? At least give me a warning first. What can I say? I like being ahead. 
I'd ask if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you'd say yes. Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. All we need to do is pass this desire from the latest memory to the earliest. 